All right, so we're back. So let's close this parent component here, the main component, because we don't need it. And as you remember, we still have an, an error here because we haven't created this character info component. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll say car info.jsx. Open that up and, well, you know what? I'll just type it out again. Let's steal some stuff from our components. So we'll say paste that, um, render. Again, doing that same thing, just stealing stuff from my other components. Um, return, close that, and close that. And let's export default car info. If I could type, geez, car info. Better to move slow sometimes. Okay, this isn't returning anything, so we've got an error. I think we're gonna have to put a div in here. And let's see. Okay, cool. So we've got our styles, as you can see, and um, this is all looking, you know, at least it's looking a little better, not looking super good, but it works, and we've got our characters. Each one is returned because, remember, we mapped over that array, and we're returning just the name. As you can see, let's go back to that component right here, map, and returning the character name, so that's what you're seeing, and I just styled it in yellow. But for some reason, I'm not getting the right spacing here with Bootstrap. I mean, there's no margin or padding here, which I don't like. So let's go and fix that. Um, we can go. That's got to be in here. So I think I'm going to say body class equals container and see how that looks. See if this refreshes. OK, that's a little better. It looks a little nicer. OK, so the next step is to create. Um, well, we created the component, but basically set that up where a user can click hide or show and there'll be like a little word here that says hide or show information and it expands so that's going to be all in our character info component so let's go into there this one right here and let's uh, set up a constructor so we'll say constructor props super props I know this is boring all this boilerplate but it's necessary if you want copy paste it we'll say this dot state and Okay, I don't know if you remember our original app, but there was basically a thing. Well, let's check it out. So if you recall, we had this little button here that shows the info. So this is a component in and of itself, and each one of these is a little event that when you click, it opens or it closes. So let's build that. So we'll keep that open just so that we can reference it. So we'll refresh this, and we'll say, we'll just call it expanded. Do we want the information to be expanded or not? And it's going to default to false, right? So it's closed at, at first, okay? Nothing is showing. Now, let's go back to, I've got an error because this is an object. This should be, well, you can just delete this or make it a comma, whatever. Okay, now you can see here in our object, our data that gets returned in form of JSON, we've, if we expand that, we get all kinds of information. Again, you can use any of these properties that you want. Um, for our example, I think we did uh, gender, birth date, and hair color. So let's just keep it uh, the same. You can you know put where they're from or what kind of ship they use. But if you're using stuff like this that returns an array, you got to make another request and um, loop through uh, loop through each item before you can display it. So let's keep it simple and just show the birth year, uh, hair color, and gender. So let's create a couple events. A uh, couple of events first. First one is when you click and you wanna expand the information. So let's just call this open. Okay, we're gonna open the little, um, I guess you would call it info box, right? So we'll say this dot set state, and we want to basically change the state to whatever the opposite that it is uh, at first, which is false. So we're just gonna use the uh, not operator, and we're gonna say expanded. It's gonna be this dot state dot expanded. So change it to the opposite. A very simple function, and let's do the same but for the opposite where we're gonna close it. So same thing, it'll just, basically every time you toggle it, it'll change the state to the opposite of what it is. Okay, so here, instead of saying, you know, change this to true, which you could do, and this back to false, you could just say change it to whatever the opposite that it already is, okay? Now inside of our render method, we can use this prop here that we passed um, called uh, character info. We called this prop. So let's go ahead and use it in here. So we'll say here, 
we're gonna have to st structure a little. So we'll say const info equals this dot props dot character info, just so that we can use just the word info instead of having to type this whole thing every time. <laughs>